Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. That channel is Deb Chanel Sport Ace World. And I'm hoping you all had a nice weekend thus far. Hope you had a happy Saturday uh, morning, afternoon, and evening. I hope you're relaxing, getting into your groove, and uh, just having a wonderful weekend. But again, I want to say thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. And we're going to give the polling results from my community, um, what do you call it, format on my community feed where I ask you certain questions during the day or during the week that y'all can partake of as far as interacting with me and commenting on certain posts I put out there for entertainment purposes and just polling questions that I have insight or I'm trying to find insight on and I don't want to talk about it to myself about the issues that are trending on social media with our uh, celebrity reality stars such as the cast members of Merit to Medicine as well as Real Housewives of Atlanta so anytime they're out there doing stuff anytime they're you know not acting accordingly sometimes I put polls out there every week I put a poll out there sometimes it's 17 questions sometimes it could just be four or five questions so a lot wasn't really happening last week so I didn't have a lot of polls to give out to you but let's get on into those polling results that were for let me see December the 8th through the 14th okay we're gonna get right on into them the first polling question that was asked for last week um edification on who we were talking about during the week it was asked ooh, let me see five days ago five days ago five days ago I asked the polling question to what you felt about do you think Todd Tucker is an awful, awful not in tune with his daughter parent when it comes to Kayla's feelings uh, eighty-eight percent of you all said yes. He is an awful parent, and <laughs> he's not in tune with Kayla's emotions or she her affection she's needing from him. He's just not in into her at the time, or he's not in tune with her feelings, and he don't know how to respond to them. While twelve percent of you all said no, he's not an awful dad, and he's pretty much in tune with everything when it comes uh, in relation to Kayla and her feelings. The next polling question was, do you think Candy Burris should do more to make Kayla financially life a lot better than what Todd wants for his oldest daughter? Okay, 60%, 68% of you all said yes, she should do more and better by Kayla since that is her uh, stepdaughter or daughter how she wanted to say when she was getting married to Todd that she sees her no more than what she sees Riley Kayla is her daughter so I don't know what the uh difference is why you're not spoiling her like you're spoiling Riley you know I know Riley's your biological child but in the essence you pretty much said that Kayla when you accepted um Todd's proposal that you were gonna treat her like she was your daughter uh so I don't know what went how that went left went south and she's getting the end of the stick now but hopefully you can definitely strengthen the relationship and the bond you have with her as well as bringing Todd into the uh, mainstream of knowing how he should treat his daughter okay because she was his one and only child and daughter at a particular stage when he came into her life or uh, time frame he came into her life, which he wasn't there for the formative years, like right after she gave birth on up to, I think they said, uh, from what the streets are saying, he didn't really get introduced to her life until she was 12 years old, so he missed 12 good solid years. But then again, he could have been catching up once he knew and had a DNA test stating that that was his child. He should have been catching up like it was nobody's business, but it seems like there is a rift, there is a tear there, and a big old open wound to where nothing's getting resolved. So hopefully Todd can get with it for 2020, okay? And, and, and just show nothing but love on Miss Kayla. But anyway, 68% of you all said, yes, uh, Candy could do much better by what she's doing as far as calling herself 
being uh, financial able and willing, willingly and able-bodied person that can do some things for her financially. While 32% of you all said, no, she should stay out of it. Okay. Uh, the next polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore was right for crashing Marlo Hampton's event? Okay. 77% of y'all said, no, she was not wrong. I mean, no, she was she was right. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. The question again, let me go back and read it. said, do you think Kenya Moore was right for crashing Marlo Hampton's event? 23% of you all said, yes, she was right. She was full-blown in her rights to do it. It was just is what it is, and they were glad Kenya did it. While an overwhelmingly response of people said no. 77% said no, Kenya shouldn't have done that. She should have checked herself, and others should have checked her as well, Okay. Then we go on to the next polling question. It says, do you think Kenya owes Marlo an apology for crashing her event? Uh, overwhelming uh, group of people said yes. 76% said yes. Kenya should apologize and, and definitely make it right between Marlo and how she crashed that event. While 24% you, uh, percent of you said no, she, does, she has no obligation to do anything towards apologizing to uh, Marla. Then a question was asked, do you think Quad Webb from Meredith Medicine slept with Common, the musical artist, and Dr. Heavenly suggested, as Dr. Heavenly suggested that she did? Well, 52% of you all was kind of tight. Said yes, Quad and Common slept together, while 48% of you all said no. Quad and Common did not sleep together. That's all fictitious. Y'all need to get over it. It never happened. At least that's what Quad is saying. Wink, wink. Okay. Um, the last five and final polling question was asked, do you think Dr. Jackie and Buffy Parcell would ever be friends on the Merit to Medicine show? An overwhelmingly response of 75% of you all said, no, that would never happen, ain't going to happen, shouldn't happen, and you can wait till hell freezes over. It ain't going to happen. While 25% uh, of you all said, yes, they will become friends at some point <laughs> in the juncture of our society and living. But that's all I had. It was kind of cute, short and sweet for the polling questions. It wasn't really drawn out this week because I had a lot on my plate that I needed to take care of. So, And like I said, it was kind of like not so inviting with a lot of uh, trending social media news to even ask you all about. I mean, the only thing that was really trending out there was Candy Burris. Um, how she was being treated, well, how she was being seen as treating uh, Kayla versus how she treats her biological child, Riley. I don't understand this. When you hook up and you blend families together, it does not matter whose step, who's my real daughter, who's my real son. When you combine families, you're like that person's next unit if she's not with her biological mom guess what you're her mom or even if she's spending the summer with you or six months out of the year with you that you're her mom candy so for you to sit back and say oh well, that's todd's biological father do you and todd have rules and regulations when it comes to your daughter he can't say anything about Riley on how you raise her, what you give her, this, that, and third. And he sets the same parameters for you when it comes to you can't give, you can't say or put your input in thus far when it comes to how he's raising Kayla. I mean, is that what y'all got going on? Because that's going to be a hot mess when eight starts to get a little older. Uh, blades start to get a little older and you already said that stuff is not going to fly with you of how he's treating Kayla so you pretty much know that is a bad deal right there so you need to be trying to fix that situation quick fast and in a hurry as quickly as possible because it seems like Todd is set in his ways because he feels like he has to be with you every step of the way or maybe you like him being with you every step every step of the way when you're doing 
projects to make more revenue stream for your family or you are getting engaged with other projects and you have to have him around you like he's your PR person or he's your manager or something is it something you're not telling us I, I mean I want to know inquiring minds want to know nosy people like me want to know Candy what's the tea girl what, what why is he all the way around you and then even when you do your YouTube channel you have him on there. You know, it's just like, this is Candy and Todd. Candy and Todd. I'm like, girl, no. No, no, no. No, we want to see you, not Todd. You know, unless y'all doing family items or family things, this, that, and the third, then okay. But I'm mean, like, can you just let, or can your people... But hell, he should be able, if he's been a project manager or behind-the-scenes producer and he's done documentaries and, and, and uh, political-type uh, um, advertisements when it comes to uh, putting a platform together. I mean, he done all these things. He was uh, what executive producer on Hollywood Davis and getting that production done. And then he did something with... Um, what was that play y'all did? Um, damn, I'm finna say Mama Dearest, but I can't think of it right now. Mother's Dream or some shit y'all were in. And it had one showing, a couple of showings, and then it just went south. Um, I don't know, but it was a stage play. You was in it, Portia was in it, and a host of other people. Um, some, I think it was like a couple of A-lister um, kind of has-been type uh, artists that you included in the musical or whatever you do, a mother's love or something like that i think it was called but i mean if he can do that surely he can make him a own youtube platform that he's just talking to men in general how to you know get women and how to treat them and this that that or just issues men are having with women period a lot of people me myself and i i would definitely give him a like or two subscribe to his channel and see what he got to say from day to day but i mean it's just it's too much it's too I'm, mm, girl candy and then with this quad and mariah not i mean mariah but quad common and dr heavenly i mean i don't know what's going on with that I really don't know. I don't really know too much care because I'm like, Dr. Helen always speaks the truth, but she tries to make like she's not speaking the truth, but it ends up coming. She always throwing people under the bus, throwing their tea out there, and then try to retract it back. That's fake fraudulent, and that's Dr. Heavenly all together. So, quite you played pillow talk with her, and you were telling your business, and you thought it was going to be secure and secret. Guess what? When... Heavenly not had too much to drink, allegedly, wink, wink. Or she just feels like she want to throw people's business out there. Ain't nothing safe, honey. Ain't nothing safe. Do I believe you, Snap Wakana? Yes, I do. Because you was trying to hush, hush it and be on social media writing shit, books, pages of books, uh, telling us, uh, proclaiming that, no, you and Tukana are only friends. Y'all only had a relationship when it came to him coming on Sister Circle. You were interviewing him, asking him questions, and that's the only relationship y'all had. Y'all not even really say y'all could be friends, you know. Y'all just like two ships passing in the night that happened to meet, you know, on a platform, had a, a nice discussion, interview, and that was it. That's what you're trying to make us believe, but we know of some pillow talk going on between you two because it wouldn't have been played off like that because I know if I didn't really do anything, I was just going to come out and tell you, Honey, that was Dr. Hevelin running her mouth. Wasn't really talking about crap. No men come and did not sleep together. Because I would definitely tell y'all if I slept with that brother, it wouldn't be like we got to hush, hush. We got to do this. Nah, we slept together. We It was good. And yeah, we seeing each other out of social media. But hey, it just is what it is. And been like that. Or if I really didn't do anything, I would just say, nah, me and Connor, we cool. He had an interview. We interviewed him. He told us about what he's doing, what he has been doing, what he's currently doing, what he's uh, thinking about doing it in the future, that was it. It was all business. That would have been done. But she came out with this whole long page letter she put on her Instagram account, Twitter, or whatever, and trying to de debunk whatever Dr. Heavenly said. That's a telltale sign that, hmm, something ain't right, okay? Or something ain't really kosher in what she's trying to push to us, okay? The stories really believe that Dr. Heavenly has spread her tea, and that's how we took it. And, 
you know, caution and did no debunking or anything. Just let it ride. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't true, it ain't what you know, it ain't really worth saying anything. Just let it ride. Exposure is better than no exposure. Good press, how they say whether it's good or bad is press. Okay, people are keeping you relevant. Your name is being in their mouth, so it's you know, all of it's good, whether it's bad. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I have for the polling questions uh that will put out on my social media page for y'all to partake of i hope y'all enjoyed the responses as well as the results that were being presented because you all voted i just put the information out there and y'all came in like true tramps true the uh, true champs and spoke y'all mind and that's what i like y'all to do that's what we do over here at the family the family affair of deb chanel's 40 world and again i am deb chanel okay if you like my commentary Hey, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified uh, when I drop videos because you can hit that little bell as well. So you'll know when a video has dropped, you need to be up there watching it at your leisure, of course, because we don't want y'all to be, you know, getting me, making me get to the point, you know, when you click on my um, video because you know that comes sometime a little bit down the road because sometimes I had to, like, help y'all be introduced to me again, give all my sincerities of you know, coming to my channel, this, that, and the third. Thank you for that. And um, getting y'all set for the story. So that everything don't come like straight out, boom, video. Here's what I'm saying, boom, gone. No, that's not how we do at my house, at my home when I invite y'all in. We got to see how your day went. We got to see who you had to cuss out. We had to see what brought a smile to your face. You know what I'm saying? Then we get into the trending topics, okay? Just don't be all rush, rush, rush. Oh, that's what's wrong with the world. Now people don't slow down and smell the roses. Sometimes you got to do that before you break out the piece de resistance, which is the subject matter, okay? But y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye-bye. Oh, and like my videos. <laughs>